On Friday, Iran and Saudi Arabia agreed to re-establish diplomatic relations in a deal brokered by China of all the places. This ended seven years of estrangement between the countries and totally changed the geopolitics of the Middle East. In brokering a deal to resurrect diplomatic relations, the Chinese President Xi Jinping achieved a diplomatic breakthrough. This is very new, and on the surface it's very significant. Beijing and Moscow, as well as critics of the Biden administration, signify that the agreement really reduces the U.S. influence in the region. If China succeeds in getting the Gulf states, such as the Kingdom of Bahrain, the state of Kuwait, the Sultanate of Amman, the state of Qatar, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates in the same room with Iran, then this would signal another diplomatic victory for Beijing after hosting the talks last week that led to a surprise agreement between Tehran and Riyadh. China brokering a deal between longtime Gulf rivals is a broader sign of a changing global order. China will continue to play a constructive role in handling hotspot issues and demonstrate responsibility as a major nation. China should actively participate in reform and construction of the global governance system, as well as promote global security initiatives, said Xi Jinping, a country's most powerful leader in decades who just got re-elected. Xi Jinping clearly sees the changing global order. Xi Jinping is involved in wars from Russia and Ukraine to the local conflicts brewing in the Middle East. And with this, China is trying to show that it's interested in promoting not just peace and stability, but also its wider influence wherever it goes. This is certainly threatening for the United States, and Russia hadn't really taken a stance yet. China and Russia are partners, and so therefore Russia has more to win from the following diplomatic breakthroughs. Since Russia supports Iran and its broader policy and broader statehood in the Middle East. With that in mind, we now see the realignment of the world powers and the world alliances along the lines of autocracies versus democracies, exactly as Joe Biden posited when entering office in 2020. Subscribe to 7076 for more geopolitics content and geostrategy. Thank you.